Hello everyone and welcome to Toonkind at 12 FPS. My name is Jade slash Mega Magma in all in circles. And uh one moment. Oh fuck, I had to burp. Uh start. <laughs> um I'll today so I <laughs> this is final frequency. Uh <laughs> um, I'll be playing Grunkle John today, and with me I have the wonderful, the amazing, the lovely, the beautiful, the handsome, the Amazing ah, artist and ah, uh, all-time low. Um, that, uh, please introduce your child, my friend. That's so many compliments. Hold on. Uh, hi, my name is Arsum Sessions, also known as Abby, and today I'm playing uh, Cassie Soro Hyundi Black Month III. It's a mouthful, but boy howdy. <laughs> oh, man. I hold up my stinky vampire boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So... <laughs> It's, uh, uh, to, to begin this game, cast mm -hmm. it's been oh, probably the day after, uh, the events of the final day. Yes, uh, the day after the worst day of his life. <laughs> I would think the worst day of his life when he got turned into vampire, but I guess that's fair. You know what? Fair. One yeah. of the worst. There's a lot of worst days of his life. It depends on what the mood he's in. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> Look, he's he's a teenager. There are a lot of worse days of his life. <laughs> because sometimes the brain just goes, "This is the worst," and you're a teenager and you're angsty. <laughs> <laughs> so, Cassius, recently, um, uh, recently, the with the with the events of the final day, um. You've 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 gone back to where you've been staying at for the past uh, basically a couple of months, uh, which has been the Steak Inn Motel, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. um, how the how's how's Cassie's doing? How's uh, how's he feeling? Um, not great. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, it's oof, oof. The last day of camp was a time trademark. And then the recovery after that, oh boy, it's just been a lot. Not to mention, he saw the wolf again during that last bit, and oh, now he's paranoid about that. It's just, it's just a lot of pressure stacking up on top of each other, and he's just paranoid as hell. <laughs> oh shit! Wait, we might have to roll for the wolf. Yeah, I know. Oh Honestly, shit! Honestly, we don't have to roll. Jade, I put my hands on your shoulders. His passive perception automatically sees it. Yeah, here's the thing. We're doomed. John would probably also see it. So, oh fuck. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's cool. It's chill. Um, Don't worry about it. We can. It's fine. Yeah. Um. So. <laughs> um, it's fine. Cassie has not been having a good time, which is it's estimated yeah. specifically by the sound of knocking on his door. <laughs> I'm just imagining Cassius is like having like a quiet argument with Simon over something, and then just his head snaps to the door, and he like, what? Who who knows he's here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. The first thing that's gonna happen is that uh, the person on the other side is gonna see like the little blinds on the window next to the door just kind of peek open a little glowing red eyes looking out <laughs> yeah grunkle john isn't isn't looking at you but uh like he's just waiting for you to open the door it's grunkle john by the way um and when you oh, see him golly. he's like reaching into his ear just scratching it like and then he flicks <laughs> off uh something that comes out of it he is holding his staff oh. he's wearing his full outfit like uh that you usually see him wearing while at camp um, except for the best, yeah. he's not wearing the best. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just picturing, like, the little blinds closing, and then on the other side, Cassius just lets out the quietest groan, just... Ugh. And, like, both hands go reach up to his face, and he drags them down. <laughs> his, no his nose kind of makes a springing sound effect. Boing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but then he's just gonna sigh, straighten himself up, and <laughs> go over the door and just oh, 
just open it and just stare out at Grunkle John with just the most deadpan expression you've ever seen. Okay. Finally! Goodness gracious! How long does it take you to answer a door? What are you doing here? Better question, how did you... You know what, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd like to imagine, like, uh, you're asking how, how he knows you're here? Remember, yeah. how we, remember how we said, like, they make their way back to camp and they see they're walking the same direction? And, like, the stake in Motel is basically right across the mystery check. Yeah! I, the I, look, I look directly at the map you made. Yeah, it's right there, isn't it? Yeah! <laughs> Honestly, you weren't that hard. Okay. Follow-up question. How did you know which room was mine? <laughs> uh, I asked the guy downstairs who looks like he's, uh... And it, it, it turns back towards him, and he has, like... Because uh, I'm... I've spoken about it before, but Cassie <laughs> isn't paying for the room, right? He's... Oh, he's not! Yeah. He's enchanting the hell out of this guy yeah. to be able to <laughs> stay here! <laughs> so the dude is just, like... Eyes, like, swirls, uh... Like... <laughs> Plus, it's the only room with the lights on, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Cassius just groans. Uh, and then he just kind of, like, leans against the door frame. Just, he's not even going to say anything. He's just going to wait for, like, an explanation on, okay, why are you here? What's so important that you need to be here? <laughs> Look. And under any, li under literally any other circumstances, I would never, ever, ever, ever try to interact with you ever again. But sadly, because you know exactly what happened yesterday, I need somebody I can trust. Somewhat, because this thing isn't over. And honestly, I'm not dumb enough to go there by myself. So... <laughs> I'm just, I'm just imagining the long, awkward silence. <laughs> Look, unless oh, you want to have gosh. another zombie apocalypse in your hand in which you're taken over and tied to another post, uh... <laughs> because I'd like to remind you, yeah. Grunkle John did pass you yesterday <laughs> on his way to the yeah. kids and did not untie Cassius. He just left yeah. him there. Yeah. <laughs> Cassius is, is... His expression sours a little bit at that brief memory, but then he just sighs. Fine, but I'll need to deal with this and make sure it's not a problem anymore. The last thing I want is that stuff getting out again. Ugh. <laughs> And, like, no. there's, like, a visible shudder, like, down Cassius's entire form. <laughs> yeah, we really do not want the signal getting out. Now, uh, grab whatever you need. Meet me downstairs. I got a truck. Uh, well, I don't have much to grab. And Cassius just, like, steps out and, like, reaches into his hammer space. And I got a roll. That was barely a success. My goodness, Cassius. <laughs> Uh, just pulls out his umbrella and opens it above his head, and there you go. He's ready. He has everything. <laughs> All right, well, you see Grunkle John is already making his way downstairs to a small pickup truck um, with uh, mm -hmm. something covered in a tarp in the back of it. Okay. <laughs> Cassie's just quirks up an eyebrow at that, but he's just going to shut the the motel door behind him and just trail behind. <laughs> it's easy for him to keep up if only because his legs are so long. I mean, this is an old man, so he's 60. Yeah. Like, he yeah. he can take out, he can give out a punch, but that does not mean it doesn't hurt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Cassius is six foot nine. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's tall. <laughs> <laughs> Tall. Oh. Just just an absolute pencil. <laughs> yeah. Pencil of a tune. 
uh, upon you entering the car, Snap by the way... Snap him over your knee. <laughs> Uh, we've spoken about this. You can definitely use them as a fucking lance. Yeah, you can. You have. You probably could. <laughs> uh. <laughs> like a lance or a javelin or a spear. Fucking. I'm imagining like an Olympics event. And you just grab Cassius. Like uh, you have to grab the lance, and somebody accidentally grabs Cassius and starts using <laughs> to fucking chuck him across the field. Yeah. <laughs> Like, his nose embeds into the dirt and there's a sprawling. <laughs> anyway, we're off. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, immediately, immediately upon getting in the car, <laughs> um, you do notice there's, like, a weird fucking device on, on the dashboard. <laughs> um, uh, if you want to rule Arcana, feel free. Oh, boy, Arcana. All right. <laughs> Cassius, you get to roll Arcana. What's your Arcana? Buddy, where's your Arcana? Oh, there it is. It's not that great. Ooh. But it's still pretty decent. That's 12. <laughs> That's 12. Okay. Uh, with the 12, I'll actually say this. You had a device that you used during um your FPS with uh, Simon, right? The... Uh, are we connected? Mm -hmm. That was made yeah. by you, in a sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With it was, like, something that uh, Cassius had been holding to, like, red, like, measure, like, strength of frequencies or signals, if that makes yeah. sense. This is... Is it, like, like, something similar? It is something very similar. But it is much mm. more technologically advanced. There's no... Yeah. yeah like... <laughs> it's just on the dashboard. Like, it's just there. <laughs> I don't know how. Uh, yeah. I'm. I think like Cassius is just just quietly like looking down in it, and you can see like him absently like raising one hand, and uh, to like the side of his head and just gently tapping it. Like no, <laughs> shut. <laughs> Wait, I can't look. At so I, I finally, actual technology, please. I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't work like just that, buddy. Another, it's just, just another just, sharper tap on the forehead. Just, just like, no, we're, we're being quiet here. Uh, but yeah, uh, when Sprinkle John gets on the gets in, uh, you see that uh, the the car has like a little hole. Where for the where the stick ship would be, and Grunkle John just mm -hmm. fucking grabs his staff and sticks it in there. Again, raise of the eyebrow. <laughs> what? Is this... Oh, God. <laughs> what? I don't know if Cassius has ever been in a car before. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> He's not going to say that, but... <laughs> He's probably has seen some cars around the area. Um, oh, yeah, definitely. Especially in the parking lot. Thomas Heights has a lot more cars than home, but... Yeah. <laughs> Which is surprising to him, seeing that this seems like such a backwater town, except for that one mansion. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a big. Well, there's a bunch of fucking like big house, like fancy houses in that neighbor in that part of the neighborhood. But that's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The most notable one though is the big begging mansion. Oh yeah, that one's fucking ginormous and it's beautiful. Um, yeah, not like Cassie's is ever gonna go in there. Uh, though, it's fine. Anyways. <laughs> Freaking the envy that Cassius must have felt upon first seeing it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So Grunkle Down just starts up the car. I don't know how awkward of a conversation, or if there's no conversation on the way to camp. It's there, yeah, there's probably minimal conversation. Cassius is not interested in conversing. He's just interested in getting whatever this is done so that he doesn't have to worry about it and he doesn't have to interact. <laughs> He's just maximum grump. <laughs> All right. So um, the camp uh, after after the final day was basically <laughs> left uh, mostly empty. Uh, there's almost uh, uh, something. I'm not... Grunkle John is not saying anything. Like, you... <laughs> you, you, you... Uh, I guess he, you see Grunkle John just say, like, I'm not saying anything. Nope. 
uh, just out loud. <laughs> Cassie, okay, at that, Cassius actually, like, one of his ears kind of flicks, and he just, like, gives you, like, a curious look. <laughs> sorry, sorry, boys inside the head. Uh, anyways, um... <laughs> Do you want to roll inside on Cassius? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Plus, what's his insight? Plus two is not much. What's in that one? <laughs> you get nothing! You get nothing with that! <laughs> <sighs> there, there's just Cassius sitting there with an unchanging deadpan expression. Just goes back to looking outside the window. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Eventually, uh... Well, if you, yeah. if you had noticed, you would have noticed the very brief deer-in-the-headlights look. <laughs> but you didn't, so... Oh, this is, this is great stuff. Um, oh, these two just tasty. fucking hate each other. <laughs> they, they, yeah, they're so similar and they hate it. <laughs> so, uh... No doubles. Uh, eventually, um, fucking brain, I need you to think. Uh, we arrived at camp. The final, <laughs> after, after the final day, uh, the camp has basically been left, uh, mostly abandoned. There's, like, one or two people that are not very too hard to sleep by who are just, like, left to, like, tend to the final couple of things, and they're mostly the, in the office. So, um, mm -hmm. once, once they park, and this is also, like, a pretty good location where people just come to, uh, like, actually camp. So, mm -hmm. it's not rare to see people coming in. Uh, but once they park, you see Grunkle John uh, basically tell you, like, all right, I need your help with this thing. And goes to the back of the truck. Uh, there's, once again, just the quiet sigh from Cassius as he just... <laughs> he, he struggles with the door for a bit, but he eventually gets it open. Because, <laughs> again, not in a car before. New experience. <laughs> Uh, just hops out, slams it shut behind him, and then it walks to the back with, like, I'm imagining, like, that moody teenager walk with the hands in his pockets. <laughs> Umbrella hanging off one of his arms. Um, you eventually see, uh, Grunkle John basically pull on the straps that are holding down whatever the fuck this thing is in the back of the truck. Um, he has taken out the, uh, the sensor thingy, and eventually pulls across the tarp, and what you see is a giant... Jar. <laughs> like a giant glass jar. Cassius is just staring at this and it's just if you are expecting me to carry that, then <laughs> No, we're gonna it's, I mean it's literally a it's a cylinder. We're gonna roll it. What are you fucking taking me for? <laughs> I'm sixty years old. Do you think I can carry this? Cassius is just staring at you, and you know what? Hold on, he actually does have a spell for this. I'm so glad I get to use this. Hold on. Yes. He's got Tensor's floating disc. Yes. He has it. He this is actually this it. is actually perfect. Yes. This thing is really fucking heavy. <laughs> yeah, he's just gonna be like, "All right, give me give me ten minutes. I can." <laughs> Because he's not wasting a spell slot on this. He's ritual casting this. Understandable. <laughs> uh, so, like, you just see Cassius uh, pull out, like, the the little spell component, which, like, is, like, a drop of mercury. <laughs> and just... Just, like, the little ritual casting before. Bada-bing, bada-boom. Floating disc! Does the floating disc, like, come out of the, like, the mercury, like, kind of extends out into giant floating disc? Oh, that's actually really cool. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I um, love that. <laughs> there we go. Um, perfect. And uh, Crunkle John just kind of gets on and pushes it onto the disc. Mm -hmm. oh. And you see, as it uh, as it actually lands on the disc, it makes no noise. No hmm. sound. That's terrifying. <laughs> hmm. Actually, I want to roll something on that to see what that is, because it seems 
my first instinct is that it, there might be some stuff to suppress noise built into this thing, but I don't know if Cassius would be able to recognize that instantly. Um, oh, if you God. wanted Ooh, to roll, roll this, this wouldn't, uh, well, I guess it would be a, technically a magical. Yeah, okay, you can roll that con mm. if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 17! 17. <laughs> 17. Mm -hmm. So, uh, with a 17, you know what this is. Uh, at least mm -hmm. what it is made out of. It is known as a Soundonium Crystal. Perfectly. It, it basically <laughs> vibrates in whatever frequency you, like, it will vibrate back in whatever frequency, canceling out the noise. Um, in a sense. Huh. Um, it is huh. extremely rare, and having this much in this amount is wild. Yeah, yeah. As soon as, like, Cassius is connecting those pieces, he's just, like, slowly looking over at, at John. <laughs> Grunkle John is not saying anything. The less questions you ask, the better. Yeah, and Cassius doesn't care enough to ask questions, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> oh, perfect. You're just the person uh, John wanted. <laughs> uh, freaking Simon, meanwhile, is probably getting like the mental thoughts. Just full blast of Cassius making and connecting dots. <laughs> um. Don't want a narc. <laughs> Oh, good I, mean, I hate that we both have voices in our fucking head for this. <laughs> we do! It's great! <laughs> oh, okay. Eventually uh, the thing lands. John, uh, you see you see you see Cassie's make that same like hand thumping against the temple again. <laughs> you got a headache or something? Uh don't worry about it. It's <laughs> personal <laughs> stuff. Fantastic, because we're going to need our entire attention to capture this damn thing. Cassius is going to think, just, did you hear that? Did you hear that, buddy? You gotta be quiet! <laughs> <laughs> okay, at that comment, Cassius just tenses. Because Simon just says, oh, I'm personal stuff, that's so cute. And Cassius is just, okay, we are ignoring that. Firmly ignoring that, and he's just gonna start stalking forward in whatever direction, and the te the disc is gonna start following him. <laughs> Fantastic. So Grunkle John is walking, <laughs> obviously, towards uh, the lake, but leaning more towards the activity area because we're not taking mm. the boat again. Oh, I think God, Grunkle John is. Boat. Yeah, I think Grunkle John avoids the lake. Yeah. Honestly, so does Cassius. I mean. He technically can't drown, but also being underwater, mm, Yeah, that wasn't fun. <laughs> uh, Grunkle John avoids the lake specifically because of uh, what happened. Uh, he just he yeah. just looks at it and just says, around the lake. Around the lake. <laughs> okay. It's just quiet agreement. <laughs> uh, eventually, um... Uh, with you carrying the fucking damn thing, Grunkle John actually... Well, he was going to give you the actual uh, thing to use, but uh, he instead takes it out and begins fiddling it with himself. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, we got to track down the damn frequency of this thing. I was able to get uh, Victrola's frequency by being close to her, but this, uh, this thing has probably moved since then, and the spot where it's probably going to be coming out of is a damn cave, so... Hmm. I Cassius is just sitting here listening to John like start listing off like all this technological jargon and being like, "Okay, yeah, you are a lot serious, more serious about this than I've ever seen you in my life." <laughs> Last thing I want is a fucking another zombie apocalypse. <laughs> you know what? That is a fair point. Ugh. Actually. When John says that, he is going to roll something. One second. Hmm. That's a 24. That's a 24. Okay. I have no idea what that was. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> uh, 
I'm be, scared. Uh, <laughs> it could be it could be persuasion or it could be deception. Anyways, uh Oh golly. Either anyways. way, Cassius does not have high enough insight to ever beat that, so mm -mm -mm. anyways, uh <laughs> he has a straight D twenty, there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> you have been clocked by oh. the voice in Cassius's head. <laughs> oh, Simon. Oh, Simon. You, you, you patch the, uh, like, when Grunkle John says that, it's true. He doesn't want another zombie apocalypse. That's, that's it fucking was horrendous already. Um, but that not the only reason he's doing this. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh gosh. Freaking oh no. <laughs> I'm just sitting here like, oh no, if if Simon starts talking to Cassius about this, Cassius might start getting intrigued and or Okay, that's not a great idea, buddy. <laughs> Cause good golly. <laughs> I, I gotta find. I gotta go find some art real quick. Um, oh boy. Okay, found it. Good. We're good. okay. You know what, Lewis? You might want to unmute. <laughs> Cause good golly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, Lewis, just unmute. Mm -hmm. Just on you. You'll become involved 100% now with thanks to that freaking Nat Gosh. 20. <laughs> yeah. I guess the oh, Lewis Avi Jade SPS. They sure are. Oh. Jesus. Yeah. Simon is a mentally telling guesses that someone is hiding something. Okay. He I don't think this is. Man. I don't think Cassius is going to make, like, any outward reaction, mm -hmm. but he is going to start taking more mental notes of, like, the situation. <laughs> Just, like, trying to be more observant. Okay, okay. Which means, yeah, I will be using Cassius's passive investigation, which is, in fact, 21, heart emoji. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Good, 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 good. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, if you're not actively... Uh, looking for anything. Uncle John is just basically fiddling, uh, fiddling with the uh, actual device, which is a lot of um, uh, moving in one direction, uh, turning the dial, uh, seeing how, mm -hmm. how it turns, and then going the other way. Um, it eventually mm -hmm. starts getting closer and closer to the cave, but if you have any questions before then, now would probably be your time to pass them. Hmm. Honestly, I think Cassius's like, biggest question is just so, do you just have this stuff on hand? <laughs> uh... <laughs> yeah, shut up! Yes, I'm going through with it. Um... Yes. <laughs> you spend a lot of time moving around as I did it, uh, as a youngin' and, uh, you collect a lot of things. Hmm. Neither of those things are technically untrue. Hmm. <laughs> there's squint. just Cassius squints. There's the <laughs> both of them are squinting. <laughs> For once they are handshaking and what their what their thought process is. This is the first time ever <laughs> that Cassius and Simon are on the same wavelength. <laughs> progress, people. <laughs> it's progress. <laughs> So what exactly are we going to be doing? I understand you are attempting to find this remaining frequencies, as I'm understanding it. Big I just want to know if we're about to get into some sort of fight. Uh, possibly. Uh, it's called a signal clone. Oh, great. And I rolled for this in the DM, so Cassius yeah. actually knows what that is. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for clearing that up. Now I at least know what we're dealing with. <laughs> And, like, Cassius just very pointedly uh, takes the umbrella that uh, is hanging off his arm and is mu Now it's very much ready to be utilized as a weapon. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, here's, a, here's the thing. Uh, after, after telling you that, like, yeah, the, the entire thing is going to be able to keep it so that way we can actually find a way to... Hmm. 
Mm. I want to roll insight on that. Please do. Okay. You bet, Cassius, your insight is garbage. <laughs> oh, boy. There we go. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Ah, oh, thirteen and only thirteen for both of us. Yep. Dang. <laughs> Curses. Yeah. The Sandonium is going to be able to uh, basically keep it maintained. Is what you you gather from that because you know the frequency mm -hmm. is just gonna keep bouncing off uh, in there and it's not gonna it's not gonna be able to get anywhere. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Gosh, I, Obby, can kind of guess what's happening and what John is trying to do. It's fine. Cassius does not have all the context. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Anyways. Um, Golly. <laughs> eventually, <laughs> uh, we're reaching the mouth of the original cave and... Um, uh, you see the machine is now going like it's like doing like an actual noise towards the point. You know, I think the thing would have moved since then, but it must be attracted mm -hmm. to whatever's left in there. Oh, Either yeah. that or it's attempting to lie low. And uh Cassius is going to cast Mage Armor on himself. <laughs> uh John is gonna do he the just same. It's walking into the cave. <laughs> Uh, John will tell you, like, and, like... Cassius has dark vision, so he doesn't, like, need to light up anything. He's just stalking on ahead. Uh, <laughs> I just want to say that Prime Simon has been in the cave before, so he can give some uh, advice. That's true. And, like, explain the layout a little bit. I can actually pull <laughs> just up the map, cave map if you guys want. I don't have a token for either of Ooh. us, but... Mm-hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Shrug. I mean, I we, we could probably just mentally think it yeah, out. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it, it's a little twisty turning. You still see the cable that, that was left there uh, that's running over under, yeah. over and under some of the dirt. Um, uh, a lot of the place still has the scuff marks from the day before. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Your Uncle John actually just straight up takes out a flashlight because um, he <laughs> doesn't have dark vision, sadly. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cassius yeah. can just see Simon like shiver a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but <laughs> uh, as we're reaching the very end of the cave, uh, right before the last turn, you can see that the 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 thing in Grunkle John's hand is fucking going ballistic. Mm -hmm. Um, he turned down the sound so that we fucking wouldn't wouldn't do the catch, but. Uh, mm -hmm. The thing is still there. All right. Mm. Uh, he, he actually, he whispers, uh, he actually, no, he casts message towards you. And he says, mm -hmm. all right, let the thing drop on the floor. Like the, the gun jar. Okay. Uh, and then he oh, pushes yeah, it, okay. He pushes it sideways, kind of like a, mm -hmm. a like thing, attaches like a small little rope to the end of it goes behind the jar, um, and the jar takes up, mm -hmm. like, a lot of space and is see-through. So he's hoping that in the darkness, mm -hmm. the thing is just gonna fucking run into the jar and into, like, trying to get to them, and he can just close it from behind. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Cassius is just quietly thinking, like, I wish I hadn't thrown that radio into the into the lake, because that could have been bait. <laughs> yeah, actually, that would have been really smart. Unfortunately, he threw the radio into the lake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there are more radios back mm. there, but um, eventually with that thing in, on there. You know what? <sighs> Grunkle John faced on a fucking mass of children. He's going to hand you the rope. Okay. <laughs> Cassius is just again quirking the eyebrow while he's holding the rope. 
Okay. Just get ready to pull it. And um, he's going to walk forward and uh, turn around, or not turn around, but turn into the, corn, uh, to the, to the corner. And you guys would probably caught a look if you want to see what the, what the hell is going on over there. But this is what's currently on the other side. Spoiler it for signal shenanigans. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, don't worry. Fine. Fine. It's cool. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But signal clone. You guys see uh, the thing is leaning over like a bunch of radius kind of crawling through them like almost like it's looking for any single one that might work still but all of them were stabbed by Tally and Banana. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Smart kids. Um, mm -hmm. And so eventually you just hear John say um, or yell um, you static freak why don't you come and get some of this? And you see the thing turn around. You hear the worst noise Simon has ever heard in his fucking life come out of the thing's uh, throat, like a like a like a static mesh uh, being put through a grinder. Mm. <laughs> and then John runs towards you and into the jar. <laughs> Can't, what? Okay. <laughs> He yes, looks. He just... looks at you, and you cannot hear him, but you see him mouth the words "Get ready." Okay. Well, Cassius. Luckily for you, Cassius can read lips, but also he has the expression. What the hell are you doing, you and stupid you, old man? And <laughs> you see, you see the thing immediately get make its way, uh, like through, past the corner, pass through, head immediately directly towards John in the jar, uh, like a giant maw, just like had having open where the mouths would be. Um, and it is heading towards, and then the moment that it steps through, um, Missy steps. Ah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Well, as soon as it's in the jar, Cassie's is going to pull the rope and close whatever's, you know. <laughs> yeah. And suddenly that noise that it's been making the whole time is gone. Mm-hmm. Um, it, there's probably for the best. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the thing has been, yeah, the thing has been close. Uh, and you see John just appear, like, on top of you and immediately fall on top of you. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> he Missy steps on top of you. Oh, good God. You... <sighs> Let me roll strength. <laughs> he pat me. 17! Okay! Oh, like a Surprisingly! Sco like a Scooby through fucking, ch like, uh, like Scooby and Shaggy. Yeah, yeah, freaking Cassius is now like Prince is holding you, and the moment he realizes what he's doing, goes ugh, and drops you like you're the most disgusting thing on earth. <laughs> oh God, fuck. Oh. <laughs> God, okay, and then he just gets up, not even, not even questioning, and just up, and now the thing is just in the jar, and it is hitting against each and every facet of the jar that it hard as it can it's slightly moving it but it mm -hmm. can't this thing is fucking heavy and so it can't but mm -hmm. it's not making you do not hear mm -hmm. any noise coming from it hmm. <sighs> all right that's it thanks hmm. <sighs> so that's it that's all i needed you sure there aren't any more of these things nope and he Flips the jar over and begins rolling it. Hmm. <laughs> Gosh. I think Cassius is just gonna quietly do like a sweep around the cave. Just to see if there's like any sign of any more of these things. Because again, if John really wants to make sure that this is something that is, you know, not around anymore, then they have to make sure that it isn't there aren't more of these things. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's that's absolutely fair. Please, if you want to roll, you can roll. You said passive investigation was twenty one, right? Yeah, it's yeah. it's big. <laughs> you 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 do manage to find like uh, nothing. No, there's no more of these. Like uh, whatever whatever. It seems like this is either the last bit. The the thing you do find is just like what 
basically was already described. There's the desk. Um, there is the 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 sort of like microphone uh, that the, that was connected to the speakers outside. There is the old batter stack of radios that have all been stabbed through with multiple like uh, holes through it. Um, uh, there is a. Uh, I'm gonna have to fucking pull up my fucking final day notes if I want to find this, but like, there's basically a name uh, that's attached to the desk, like on a little plaque, that um the kids never read. Hmm. Uh, that I am gonna fucking. Uh, yeah, give me one second. Would take note of that actually. Probably go over and pick up the little nameplate. See what it says. Yeah. Uh, let me just. No, that was that's the cryptid chase duck. Nope. Need to find. Sorry. <laughs> There's a lot of ducks. There's a lot, a lot of games. There's a lot of there's a lot of camp camp games. Um fuck. Uh, <laughs> Doc, don't even. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> oh, did I never write this on my iPad? I wrote this shit down. Motherfucker. Oh, no. Um Oh, no. There's the name with a. If you want to roll a history check, I can tell you. Ooh, history. <laughs> this one, Cassius is good at. <laughs> Watch me say that and immediately jinx myself. Yeah, I shouldn't have said anything. 11. Um, Heck. the name does okay with us with an eleven. You do notice that the first name you don't recognize as a uh, like mm -hmm. uh, Chase. But the last name um, is Campen. Hmm. It's it's an old old old. Um, and this this the, like the one the, connection you like make like the camp director kind like of like the camp director correct. Okay. Like the original camp hmm. director. Camus Campen is the is camp it... director. I I remember from the FPS the two. <laughs> The, the one with Victrola and uh, Raz, that there was a skeleton in here, right? Yes. Is it still there? Yes. <laughs> you can do... I'm imagining, like, Uncle <laughs> John is just rolling this thing away. Meanwhile, Cassius is holding up this nameplate and the, looking at this skeleton and making connections. <laughs> yep. Hmm. <laughs> just current thoughts are either this guy built this place purely for the fact to connect to the signal or it just happened to become part of something that he got interested in and you know was left to die here <laughs> after he, starting to try to spread it it's not a tune skeleton either by the way that's a that's a real kind of skeleton yeah, that's a real ass skeleton <laughs> that's a real ass skeleton mm-hmm uh okay yeah on the outside cassius is just like passively looking over this on the inside simon you are getting all the panicky thoughts that only only you can hear at any time <laughs> oh it's wonderful it's lovely it's cool it's chill um, yeah yeah simon is the only one who understands that cass that inwardly cassius is just a little ball of anxiety <laughs> After a minute of that, Simon's probably going to be like, okay, let's go. Like, let's just not stay here. Hmm. That's obviously not good for you. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I think so, like, uh, just Cassius... Just his sketches. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, you probably do, like, have to physically take over for a second to, like, mm -hmm. nudge Cassius along. <laughs> oh, you will. Yep. Can't hear John like, Scott. Okay. Cannot hear John Scott. John Scott's good. good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Simon yeah. is currently in control of the body, <laughs> dragging Fantastic. them away from you. So yeah. As soon as you step outside the cave, you see that Grunkle John uh, has uh, has actually stopped to just wait for you. Not gonna mm. just leave you, here. you can you can do a perception if you want because if Simon's Four. in control, then it's a bit different. Yeah, give me one second. Yeah. Uh, it's only plus two. Okay. That's a nine. Nope. Nope. Yeah, this is just Cassius. Yeah. There's no difference yeah. here. I I don't care about <laughs> yeah, this boy well, enough. Yeah, will they be different? Yeah, I don't care about <laughs> this boy enough. 
Yeah. Um, but <laughs> you do see, uh, you do see he has been sitting waiting for you, and um, uh, he he actually got like a bunch of wrapping paper up up the jar. That way, nobody will see it mm. on the way. I'm like, hmm. uh, but yeah. Hmm. All right, you're done in there. <laughs> you're still in control of the talking caches because I'm not doing the. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I am not doing this. Certainly not right now. Yeah. Cassius is just going, yeah, I am done in there. Uh, Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> can you do your can you do your thing? I don't know I'm if really... you wanna oh. I don't know if you wanna like roll insight maybe because Cassius uh Cassius's voice does sound like a bit tense ish <laughs> slightly if you can catch on to it. You know what? Yeah, no. I'm gonna use the batch this booster. Is just a child. <laughs> hmm? I'm gonna use my batch booster and give myself advantage. Oh, okay, okay. 16. 16. I'm gonna look at what Cassie's passive deception is. It's 10 plus It is lower than that. Yeah, it's 10 plus It's deception. lower than that, okay. Yeah. Uh, there is, like, the attempt to be, like, calm, cool, collected. Or at least as calm and cool and collected as this kid can be. He, he's... There's the slight tremble in his voice, though, gives away that he is a bit shaken up about part of this. <laughs> Whether or not he's going to expand on that is completely up to what happens next. <laughs> why must you? Why, why must? Why must I, Jade, be cursed with a heart that wishes to help <laughs> and yet must play? Okay, okay. With the with the, with the advice from Twitch, uh, you hear like a large sigh coming from John. And you just see, you just see John's like look at you and just say, "You know, for a vampire, you took this all. Uh, you're not taking this as well as I thought you would. As I thought you would." Cassius looks slightly offended at that. What? You just Simon next to you cringing. So what, just because I'm a vampire means I'm supposed to have some sort of iron will. Is that it? <laughs> How long have you been a vampire? Not as long as you might think. Ah. Huh. Maybe Sorry, a but... year. Close to two. You see, okay. This is the longest sigh from Pitch. You did this. You wanted this. <laughs> um, you do see like a, uh, as you saying that it's been only two years or like a year or two. Um, John does cringe a little bit as he says and does say, "Sorry about that. Uh, most vampires I've uh, met before have been uh, well, no." I get that vampires tend to be immortal as a side effect, and so any vampire you meet could be from the pecking 1600s or whatever. <laughs> the 1600s, yes. The very much time era that does exist within Ankwell and Tunkang D&D. Don't listen. <laughs> not think about it too hard. just saying that generally because yeah, like yeah, most, yeah, 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 yeah. most vampire history i feel like would come in places like Faruma, which yeah. cassius would be more familiar with because he would have had to like look into being a vampire and what that entails which means he would have to start looking at history books he has had a little bit of read up in Faruman history if only so that he could dig up evidence for vampire stuff <laughs> this is this is a good this is a good point um yeah <laughs> uh how old is cassius look Good question. That's not, that's uh, not something. Um, that's not something because John doesn't actually know your age. Uh, Cassius is nineteen, going on twenty. <laughs> Although oh, physically he looks maybe seventeen, almost eighteen. God. Yeah, this is mm. a kid. Yeah. 
as much as he tries to hold himself up, which he does a considerably decent job at, it he tends to try to hold himself up as somebody who is older than he looks. Yeah. He's not. Un he's unfortunately not that. <laughs> he's he's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Can't make me adopt another kid. Oh, do not, do, do not, not go. Not if you not want to. Please no. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm trying I'm trying because this is this is legitimately fucking difficult for me because I want to stay within the asshole that is the uh, that is Grunkle John, but also like fuck man he does have a little heart of gold. <laughs> The horrible, horrible thought. Exploitation of Awful, kids and media fridge. Yeah, exploitation of <laughs> kids and media fridge is our whole fucking issue that we shouldn't talk about. Anyways. <laughs> uh, okay, 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 okay. Um, <laughs> fuck. Okay. Brain, I need you to think. You got this. Um, <laughs> so, uh, seeing just kind of how young you are and Look, I don't know. Um, I don't know what your whole history is, but I'm sorry for that, and thanks for the help. I that thing is this thing, and he taps on the fucking thing, which doesn't make fucking noise. Um, this thing yeah. is dangerous. No, I get that. And Cassius just gestures back to the cave. <laughs> if my own personal experiences weren't enough, I think the cave with the skeleton in it would be evidence enough that you shouldn't mess with this. And he says that very, very pointedly. <laughs> oh, believe me, I'm not messing with it. I'm, think I'm hoping to destroy it. And, uh... Pecking in sight! In sight! <laughs> 21. I can't roll that high, Simon, please! <laughs> One moment. <laughs> well, Simon. Uh, you don't get secrets. It's not a lie. Bitch. It's not It's not a lie. It's not a lie. Mm -hmm. It's Billy's not a lie. He's hiding something. He is not telling the full truth. He is going to destroy this thing. He is going to want mm -hmm. to destroy this thing. And he did make a promise to the kids that he would look into it, uh, which he did, mm -hmm. and found out about signal clones and was like, shit. Um, mm -hmm. But there is something else he's not saying. And I mm -hmm. think with the obviousness of like, um, if Cassie has ever told Simon anything of a Grunkle John, it's probably that he's a grifter, a, a bit of an idiot, and... Uh, that's about it. Honestly. Yeah. Um Yeah. So Yeah, Simon is is immediately going to tell Cassius that uh John mm -hmm. is still hiding something. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like the most obvious thought that would appear in Cassius's head first is, oh god, he's gonna make this thing an attraction. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Oh, that is that then, is actually like, a genuine thought. That probably did go through his head. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. My head, my hands. It's a valid thought to have. But considering all the things that Cassius has seen now with the high-tech stuff, the large quantity of super rare pecking stuff meant to keep things quiet, he's, he's way more prepared for this than Cassius thinks just a guy who makes attraction should be. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And that is setting off all sorts of alarms that are just like, this guy is way more than he lets off to be <laughs> most of the time. And he just sighs and like, arms down and like, Pritch, honestly, Pritch, this is probably the weirdest you've ever seen Grunkle Town act. Uh, just letting Pritch know. Mm -hmm. Like, straight up. Like, this is not the way that, uh, Oh, I'm thinking stop man. One second. Oh no! I can't believe Jade is fucking dead. Man, Jade has been summoned. <laughs>
Well, no. hello, listening audience. Hi. <laughs> Bye. The to be continued meme plays. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it's cool, it's chill. Uh. Oh, good luck, good luck with that, Pritch. <laughs> good, good luck trying to this... get this teenager to listen to an other planar entity. <laughs> this... Finger guns. <laughs> This mind space is not big enough for the two of us. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking gosh, this is the most insane Cassius and Simon have ever been. Mm -hmm. I'm living for it. <laughs> They're just sus. <laughs> sus. <laughs> when there is a common point to be sus about, they can get along. <laughs> Yeah, and Simon just wants Cassius to be safe after the fiasco that was yesterday. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, that, <laughs> so that's why he's worried. <laughs> Man. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh. <laughs> Silly little, little silly little uh commercials. <laughs> commercials. <laughs> Not commercials, only static. No. That's what we want to avoid, Lewis. <laughs> Too late. Uh. <laughs> uh. I do think Cassius is one of those tunes that could break the fourth wall. So I'm just picturing, like, during this break, Cassius is just kind of, all right, hold on, and is just leaning against whatever's closest. <laughs> Sudden commercial break. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh. Just typing something, don't mind me. Mm -hmm. I gently pat the you. <laughs> oh, great, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, <laughs> I see you scheming. <laughs> no, no, it's fine, school. I see it right there in the chat, in front of my very eyes. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, good golly! I put my head in my hands. <laughs> no, it's fine, school. Uh. <laughs> That made me laugh that I just realized earlier in the chat that Cassius have another common point because of French and Simon. Good golly. Put my head in my hands. Mm hmm. <sighs> they both have this headache that comes and goes. <laughs> <laughs> It comes and goes quite suddenly. <laughs> Almost every time Simon talks. <laughs> Simon breaks and Cassius is immediately holding his head. Yeah. <laughs> you, can't, you can't be safe from him. Yeah, that's the biggest difference. John can just put, put Pritchard time out. Cassius did not. Cassius has to live with this until they can get internet. Finger guns. <laughs> oh, good golly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Uh, and just because just, just because of Fridge and Simon, Cassius and John are gonna be even more sus of each other's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I put my head in my hands <laughs> for the fifth <laughs> time today. <laughs> Oh, yeah, absolutely. Listen, if you think Cash is about, is about to mention that in-game, you are certainly mm -hmm. mistaken. Oh, yeah, no, don't worry, bud. <laughs> it's fine, They'll, they will find a way. We're fine, we're fine. <laughs> you will not. <laughs> not none of Cassius has anything to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Cassius? Are you jealous? <laughs> uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> I. Who did What's wrong? You don't want to share. You don't want to share your old buddy, Simon. You, you shut. <laughs> you be quiet. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> it's too late. You've given him attention. <laughs> The moment Simon gets any attention, there's there's no stopping him. <laughs> It'll just keep going and going and going and going. Exactly. Get every drop of attention out. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I'm so sorry. Hi, hello. It's fine. Hi. You. Sorry, I had to. We talk while waiting. Don't worry. Yeah, I had to um go and get a um. I had to help my family with the groceries, and then I spilled a bunch of canola oil on the floor, so it's super slippery. Anyways, um, oh no, that's fine. Anyways, where where the fuck were we? Oof. Oh gosh, where were we? Right. Uh, uh Pratch is a. Uh, uh, Pratch. 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 <laughs> no, it's fine. Pratch. Uh, Pratch. I was telling Grunkle. I was telling Pratch this morning that this is probably the weirdest that he's seen Grunkle John act in a while, like in a long time. Mm -hmm. And Grunkle John just sighs. And just says like, look. When you've lived as long as I have in bottom of the sites, you, well, you encounter some really weird shit. It's oh no, good I get to that. Be, I've good. been here lit less than a few months, and I've already encountered a number of things that are quite frankly annoying as hell. <laughs> and he says that so pointedly, <laughs> not to you specifically. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> perhaps to somebody else. Um, yeah, somebody else is listening. <laughs> but oh man, boy, boy, oh boy, 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 boy. Um, Cassius looks into the camera like he's on the office. <laughs> <laughs> Simon looks at the camera and smiles <laughs> and winks. Wink. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it's it's good to be prepared sometimes. That's a, that's an actual genuine, uh, like, you don't need an inside check. That's actually genuine. After um. After what happened yesterday, I went home and I did a little research. I found out what the signal was, and that this was going to be coming out of it soon. It should be the only one, because she was the only one that was really, really connected. And all of that is true. Mm -hmm. I mean, Cassius has also done his research, so he know he can follow along. <laughs> the Simon wins this again, because uh, technically he was connected for a while, but considering his uh, special it was... condition, he doesn't know that it will work. It's it's more of like if you've made mm. a pact. 
Which none mm-hmm. of you, none of the people yeah. who were in there during the final day made a packed apartment were, were part of a packed apartment yeah. with Trolla. So, but yeah. he doesn't really know that, so he's still yeah, yeah, yeah. a little bit. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Again, Cassius is just like quiet thinking. You get like he does. You get the vibes that he does this a lot, just like a lot of thinking to himself. <laughs> mm-hmm. Having a conversation <laughs> up in there. Yeah. Yeah. It's mostly once. Have you ever seen like that post where it's like, uh, <laughs> like a computer programmer is talking to a rubber duck? Yes. I feel like a lot of uh, Cassius and Simon interactions are Cassius just thinking through things at Simon, not even to like get a response. <laughs> not even a... to like get a response, but to like work out his own thoughts. <laughs> it is an upside to having somebody who's an audience member in your own brain. <laughs> Man, that's gonna make it so when Simon is truly alone, he's gonna be feeling truly alone, huh? Yeah. 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 Anyways, I'll yeah. pocket that for later. Um, okay, great, cool. I'm worried about that, but we're, that's not why we're here today. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, <laughs> um, Grunkle John does eventually look at the thing and just looks at you and like, I really don't want to roll this thing all the way back. So. No, I I get it. And Cassie starts ritual casting again. Again, he is not wasting a spell slot on this. You are waiting. <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> They they got mm-hmm. they got a bit of time. Ursa's not coming yeah. home for a while, so it's okay. Yeah. He sent him. Hey to... Jade, wouldn't yeah. it be in? Wouldn't it be fun if while they while Cassius is ritual casting this, uh, <laughs> they get a glimpse of something? You know what it is. <laughs> oh, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. And Cassius doesn't even need to roll because that's his passive for the DC. So. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, never mind. I'm, I'm, I immediately forgot what the fuck. Oh, uh, the wolf stuff. Oh, right. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry. I gently pat you. <laughs> I'm a dumbass. Okay. Uh, I gently pat you. <laughs> it's it's a perception. It's perception, right? Yeah, perception. Yeah, John. <laughs> and, and if you don't see, Cassie sure is gonna. <laughs> yeah. I didn't roll high enough, so. Yeah. Um, well, Cassius's perception does see it. Yeah. Uh, I'm just like having the mental image of like Cassius just finishes the ritual and then like it's it's this thing gets closer and closer every time and it got super close last time. So he like looks kind of like behind John and it's like paces away. <laughs> and like Cassius actually does like a full body jump and like points his umbrella at the thing. <laughs> what? God. <laughs> Okay, I get it. I'm ugly, but you didn't need to. You don't need to fun. No, no, wolf, wolf. <laughs> oh shit! And John turns around and actually like turns, and Pritch can't see it. Neither can Simon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but John can. Mm-hmm. John immediately turns around and points a staff at it. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm gonna say Cassius has already shot off freaking uh. Oh gosh, a uh, scorching ray. Let me do of, some uh, rolls for that. <laughs> have a couple of uh, eldritch blasts. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I gotta make three different attacks. I have to make uh, oh, five, gosh. so it's uh, two beams. It's gonna be a plus seven, I think. Did yeah, plus seven. Do do do. I think the 27 hits. Oh, I don't think we can actually actually hit them, so like it just passes through. Um, Yeah, because it's kind of like a ghost thing, but also they would do this. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. The 19 and the 16 probably hit, but not the 12. (laughs) So just one one Eldritch Blast and two Fire uh, uh, Fireballs? Yeah, uh, it's Scorching Ray, actually. Scorching Rays, yeah. And two scorching rays. Yeah, Cassius in... went all out. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a way to go all out because I don't actually have any damaging uh, high level spells. Uh, ah. But that's always <laughs> best for you. Um, anyways. Mm-hmm. 
uh, but yeah, and one Eldritch Blast just kind of hit the thing, uh, and it just the it's it's like a it ghostly figure it just goes right through it, and immediately the thing turns around and goes. <sighs> They're getting closer. I hate this. <laughs> Wait, so there's probably actually two wolves when you think about it. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah, yeah. there's probably oh, two no. of them. <laughs> They like turn around and there's a second one and then Cassius screeches again. <laughs> and immediately, uh, <laughs> one moment. Another Eldritch Blast. Yeah. <laughs> 24. It hits, but it just immediately runs away. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay. So. Not just. Okay. Me then. It's not just okay. <laughs> Honestly, I'm a little pecking relieved at that that it's not just me that sees them, but also I'm pecking terrified that it's not just me that sees them. <laughs> How long have these things been following you since That's... the thing left? Yeah, right. <laughs> since the um, <sighs> since Halloween Town, basically. Same here. Ugh. <laughs> Yeah, Simon wasn't there for Halloween Town, was he? Rich was. Rich definitely <laughs> he still was. Wasn't. Yeah, Rich definitely was, because uh, he was. Still Simon sure was it. Yeah. Listen, Simon, you are just getting thoughts of just. I will explain it later. I will give you all the details. Please just don't think right now. I need to think. <laughs> Simon makes the exact same face as the image I've seen. Amazing, wonderful, <laughs> lovely, thank you. Um you do see um we should we should really get going. I don't think uh I don't really want to be at this camp anymore. Yeah, no. <laughs> Cassius has the 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 bottle and the tensor floating disc and he is speed walking. <laughs> yeah, speed walking, loading up the lo loading up the jar onto the thing, putting a tarp mm -hmm. over it. You see it is still like moving yeah. back and forth because it doesn't stop movement, but it does stop sound. Um, yeah. Oh gosh, I just remembered another role we thought to make in the DMs doing this. Yeah, we should do it while we're driving. Hold on. Yeah, we should do it while we're driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that'll be fun. Uh -oh. Yeah, that'll be fun. Um, <laughs> don't like this fun you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Grunkle John does, does, does toss the, uh, uh, the thing into the hammer space, like the, the staff. No, he needs it because he fucking sticks it into the fucking uh, stick stick shift of the car. <laughs> mm -hmm. God. Uh, you just hear you just hear John like immediately yell at Fred's like, "I'll explain later." God. <laughs> it would be so pecking funny if Cassius and John said that at the same. Yes. Yes. Point. Yes. 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 Yes, the both of them at the same time as they're speed walking through the forest. I will explain later. Exactly. <laughs> and then they just look at each other. <laughs> they just look at each other. It's a, it's that one picture. It's it's that one picture of like a, uh, like eyes narrowed, like mouth slightly open. Question marks are floating above both of their heads. Like. <laughs> yeah, it's just what? the lady with the math. Yeah. <laughs> Look, we don't have time. <laughs> we we don't have time for this. <laughs> and like just imagining like the little floating disc floating up and onto the back of the truck and then yeah. tarp <laughs> sitting over, down. Tarp, straps, yep. get in, mm -hmm. start driving. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh. Cassius just hops into the other seat, like, okay, we're going. <laughs> John is gonna <laughs> stay quiet. Yeah, exactly. Uh, John is going to stay quiet, but if uh, Cassius needs to make a roll. Cassius does need to make a roll. I have to determine what roll it is. Probably, Constitution probably a whiz throw? save. Really? Con oh, a con save actually yeah. might. Because it's, oh, I was thinking whiz save because this is basically instinct. <laughs> that is fair, but it's also like, why not roll a con save and then depending on how bad it is, the DC... Uh, the DC is like, uh, yeah, the DC of the whiz save gets higher. Yeah. 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 Okay. So here's the con save. 
Oh, that's a three. Oh, that's oh, bad. That's, that's, a, that's a bad DC, baby. That's like a 30. A... Let's make that a 30. That's Wait, a 30 I mean... DC 30. I mean, can yes, Simon can maybe... <laughs> can I... Could Simon do an help action for the whiz save, at least? Because, like, he's in Cassius's brain. I'm gonna so say yes. Put my hands on your shoulder. With the 30 DC, I Cassius can't even pecking make that, even it's... with its vintage. Yeah, no, he can't. It's fine. Uh, here's here's it's what I'll say. Fine. Hey, Avi. Roll, roll the wisdom save. Yeah. I want to see the wisdom save. I want to see the wisdom I want to see how bad it okay. is. Because you Let's could just roll that way. Okay. Yeah, you could roll a nat one. It would be on advantage, have... right? Yeah, you do have, yeah, advantage, have advantage because Simon's helping, trying to come mm -hmm. cast this down. Yeah. Yeah. No! Oh, that's a 21, though. Still, how does it look? Yeah. Oh, gosh. I'm just, like, imagining both John and Cassius are, like, kind of rushing to their seats. And uh, as Cassius is going uh, on the other side of the truck, he just kind of stumbles and... Uh, Puts rests one hand on the other side of the truck, and uh, it's like his whole posture changes from like mm -hmm. it's becoming more animalistic, if that makes sense. Yeah, instinct takes over rather than thought. Ah, yes. So, Grunkle John, it's not, not seeing this, yeah, Grunkle John, not seeing this, gets in the car, puts the stick shit in, turns on the car, and is waiting for Cassius to graciously get in the left car. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, Cassius, meanwhile, uh, is just slowly straightening up. And, like, his his glowing red eyes are just kind of quietly training on, uh, on Crunkle John, who's sitting in the, tr in the truck. <laughs> oh, no. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, gosh, I'm just picturing, like, Cassius, uh, Oh gosh, is he gonna? Does he open the door, or does he just like try to like climb in through the window at this point? You know, That's he probably point. just tries to climb in through the window. Ooh. <laughs> Simon immediately butting his head and is like, "Oh no!" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Grunkle John, Grunkle John, right. looking through some cassette tapes, like blissfully unaware. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I, mean, I feel like we need some oldies uh, uh, after that whole shebang. Mm -hmm. um, getting rich. <laughs> I mean, I feel like this is a pretty <laughs> fucking obvious as to what's happening because I feel like John turns around. Oh. Yeah, you yeah. can still see through the staff. Yeah. So I feel like John just turns around and just like has a cassette tape in hand and just sees Cassius, teeth bared, uh, eyes red, like uh. Uh, like, uh, crawling through the window in the creepiest form imaginable. Yeah. <laughs> it's terrifying. Gonna uh, one moment. Oh, good! It wasn't at one. Yeah. So that's a hammer spatial. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm actually... Well, no. We did say that Grunkle John knows you're a vampire. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He also wouldn't come to a vampire without some... Like, some equipment. <laughs> yeah. So you see him take out something... Okay. Uh, yeah. You see him take out... Uh, uh, something... Like it, it turns to like black. Like the scene turns to black and white, and Grunkle John has reached into um, uh, into his hammer space, and he's pulled out something quite sharp. Oh! <laughs> and then he okay. stabs it through something, and it's a juice box that says uh, Car Caribbean fish. <laughs> That's literally the he said that. <laughs> and just. <laughs> Look, if you're hungry, you could have just told me. 
listen, Cassie's is not in the mindset to think right now. It's just, like, literally not even a second after you have that, it is snatched out of your hand, and Cassius <laughs> has just has his teeth sinking into the side of this juice box. Drink this, you're not too weird when you're angry. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Grandpa John, uh, yeah. Grandpa John just pulls and takes out a whole box, um, like again with camera space. Like it's it's a fucking it's caprizons. It's just fucking caprizons. Yeah, yeah. I mean, as long as they're red. <laughs> yeah, they're red. They're red. They're red. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're Caribbean fizz caprizons. Um. Caribbean fizz. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That's so good. <laughs> Okay. And yeah, then, uh, Cassius is just going through them one after the other. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> do you, uh, do you not have a food source? Uh, I think now that Cassius is, like, back at it, like, refocused, uh, I didn't get the chance to restock after... <laughs> And he just kind of gestures back at the campsite. <laughs> okay, got it. And um, I was well, going to go do it, but then we did this, and then ugh. apologies. <laughs> you want me to stop by the Eagle Mart? That would be greatly appreciated. Yes. <laughs> you go past the motel into the town and sell. Uh, there's a. Uh, it's 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 an XP of the Falcon. Uh, it's an XP of the Falcon uh, uh, from mm -hmm. Awesome Springs, but um, uh, it, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a Eagle Mart. Um, <laughs> or you can just go in and buy a couple of like whatever the fuck you read you want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cassius is just gonna restock on stuff. Don't mind him. He's gonna. He's probably spending like a day's worth of pay just on drinks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man. <laughs> uh, man. It's back on the funniest... pick of groceries. Yeah. Yeah. You see the the car has been like shaking back and forth still. Like in the parking yeah. lot of the Falcon of the of the Eagle Mart. Womp 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 yeah. womp. Because the, uh, the jar might be silent, the truck yeah. isn't. Yeah, the truck isn't. Uh, you see, you see, there's a couple of um, you see, there's a, there's a couple of kids that are wandering about and looking at the truck, and just is like, I got some upgrades. <laughs> yeah, I... Cassius is probably like walking back to the truck, holding like a bag of groceries, well, several bags of groceries in one hand, and uh, the other hand has like one of those extra large Slurpees with like <laughs> cherries. The cherry flavoring. <laughs> and like he just takes Perfect. one, looks at the kids, and just hisses. <laughs> Tries to scare them off. <laughs> you know, I could use you during the during the what the fuck are they what the fuck is it called? There's a festival in Gravity Falls that they um uh the, uh where all of the fucking teenagers come. Uh, oh, I remember that. Oh my god. I mean, Westwood. I don't remember what it's what called. The fuck? It's 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 based on an actual like thing. Uh some oh, no, I not Summerween, not Summerween. It's uh it's the fucking uh, music festival that they have for the during the Love God episode. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's based on Woodstock. It's called um I don't fucking yeah. know. It's called um uh, Stockwood. Yeah, Stockwood. <laughs> Something we to scare away all the teenagers. Here. Yeah. Something to scare, to scare away all the teenagers. <laughs> Again, slight creaking of the eyebrow from Cassius, who is himself a teenager, as he climbs back in the car just sipping on the Slurpee. <laughs> uh, I mean... <laughs> I don't think Cassius would enjoy Stockwood, honestly. Yeah, he probably yeah. would. <laughs> Gotta be especially honest. with all of the, especially with how the teens have come here during that act. 
Um, yeah. The Mothman was probably yeah. one of the people who was coming here for it. <laughs> oh, well, I know who I'm cameoing next time, uh, whenever I have that episode. Anyways. Um, oh, good golly. <laughs> <laughs> the old man doesn't know how much scene loves vampires. His interpretation of vampires is still the fucking like Dracula. <laughs> like the old <laughs> monsters are like uh like obviously teens are wouldn't be some like into at the very least of his <laughs> perception. <laughs> Freaking Simon is thinking that and like Cassius is also making those connections like oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, eventually oh. you get driven over to the Staken Motel <laughs> and are allowed to um, basically get <laughs> off if you want. Yeah. I think uh, Cassius is just leaving this uh, <laughs> leaving this uh, interaction with doesn't want to be here anymore. Kind of thankful for that last little bit, but also it's been weird. It's been awkward. There's so many things things he doesn't want to think about because he's, he's dealing with his own things right now but yep. good golly <laughs> um i think uh right i think like, uh, the only thing what? cassius might have to say for like you know shoving off is just like taking one long look at the thing in the back of the truck and just a word of warning <laughs> mm. just be careful with that thing it's yeah. ugh. Believe me. And um as like I'm guessing you you've gotten out, you're looking back at it, you're looking through the window and there's, mm -hmm. there's no, you see Grunkle Dunk just uh just that's through painful teeth. Just a genuine thanks for everything. <laughs> I feel like Cassius doesn't really react to that other than like a weird a, like an ear flick. And he just goes, don't mention it. Really. Don't. <laughs> um, and with that, Cassius goes off to his uh, hotel room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, was there anything else, any other scene you wanted uh, to particularly uh, have? Maybe between Cassius and Simon? Because hmm. I have a little epilogue. Hmm. I'm just picturing freaking Cassius steps into the motel room, dumps down all the drinks that he got, and Simon immediately. Sorry. Wonderful. Do you have uh, the brain for any words, Lewis? Or <laughs> I don't know what to say. That you is say, fair. You say all the words. I just imagine Simon is just doing the biggest sigh of like, oh, finally it's over. <laughs> you see, um, uh, so with that, Grunkle John takes off the stake in Motel and turns left towards them uh, in another right into the Mystery Shack proper, going over the little bridge and finally making it into the small area into the woods. Ursa has, uh, is not here for the evening. He's staying with this uh jetty mother and um as uh as we see uh grunkle john just slowly push this thing into the mystery ramshack um slightly jittering back and forth as he does so uh it eventually reaches the vending machine in which he pushes in a small code uh uh unseen by the camera uh he oh wait before he does this <laughs> Yes, he does place his staff uh, in his room. Gotta make sure I say that. He places mm -hmm. his staff in his room and goes uh, goes back down, uh, leaving behind Pritch to whatever it is that he's going to be doing. Um, puts in the code outside of the view of the camera, opens the, pan uh, opens the panel, <laughs> and pushes it in, uh, going down the stairs and into the elevator, and down into the final third floor of the basement underneath the mystery ramshack, where we see already somewhat like um, built is a massive diamond-shaped portal um, with a bunch of controls at the end, 
and Grunkle John rolls this thing in here and sort of turns it sideways, and there's like a small pipe made entirely of sandonium. He just pushes the thing forward, and the thing immediately goes into the pipe trying to find a new way out, and it lands inside of a another container, much smaller this time, um, with something at the bottom. And Grunkle John just looks at it and says, Well, I mean, I'm at least keeping my promise. And he pushes a button, and the thing blends. <laughs> <laughs> It's fine, it's cool, it's chill. Yeah. Um, and as it Everything blends... Everything is so okay. As it blends, we see the, the whatever liquid, whatever static fluid this uh, this thing is made out of, uh, be pulled into sort of like small, not test tubes, but more like vials that to charge something. And um, uh, Grunkle John goes over and pulls out two small books um, each with a uh, hand with a broken pinky uh, in the front of it, um, with a one and a two. And he opens the second one to look at a page with a signal on it. And mm. he kind of like just uses a small pen to note off a check mark. In it. All right. One step done. And that's where we end the FPS. Cool. Red. My end and my ends. Fear. <laughs> <sighs> we are so okay and fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. I loved that so much. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was that was a Even lot of fun. Even when they were getting along, they weren't getting along. <laughs> Obviously, no. Absolutely not. <laughs> The, the adoption was right there, and they both bit it up with a stick. No. Yeah. I take. The, I grab the adoption and I throw it up in the air. Then I fucking bat it. <laughs> I, Cassie's oh, is gonna do it first. Cassie's just like, no, I am no. You can just you can shoot it with <laughs> your you either. can shoot it with scorching ray. Yeah. <laughs> well, up in the air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, absolutely uh, not. These two are these two are gonna fucking hate the guts out of each other for at least the entirety oh, yeah. of bottomless heights until the very end. Good. Mm -hmm. uh, Cassius is, is that one teenager that nobody likes. Except Simon. Except banana. Except Simon. And banana. And banana. I feel like some are, reason. I feel like at some point you are gonna we are gonna get along, but that's gonna be much long in the long run of things. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Either way, um, thank you for everybody who's listening. Thank you, Louis, for joining us. Um, uh, thank you, thank for... you for having insight when I could not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you for everybody who's listening to this in the future. Um, yeah. Uh, this thank is. Thank you for being a watcher. This I hope is you enjoyed. <laughs> truly, truly, the final, final, I swear to God, final uh, end to the Camp Camp and playlist. Mm -hmm, Good night, mm -hmm. everybody. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Bye.